or or we'll do the y so minus or use y equals m x plus b. If y equals m x plus b, what, how do we translate that into? Okay, y equals m x plus b. What does that translate to in this question with f and c? Taylor, how would we write that now? What's our y in this question? We notice we're doing this. We don't. Yeah, we're doing this as an alternative. We're doing it two different ways here. Yeah. Yeah, I printed it. It, well, y is equal to, C. I, I don't know. this is C equals M onto F plus B. That's all I'm trying to get at here. C equals MF plus B because our X and Y are different, right? Our X is equal to F and uh, see what I'm saying? So what, what, is our, what are our numbers? What do we put in there? What have we got and what don't we have? We don't have a C. We don't have the F. And we have the we don't have the, we have the C and the F. The C and Does the everybody F. understand? I'm doing it a different way, but you don't have to. You only have to do it one way. So don't get confused. Uh, we're doing it two different ways. Uh, C equals M F plus B. That's the same as Y equals M X plus B. And I think Bernadette, you said we can put in what numbers here? Um, first C, would you put it? Yeah. In five. Uh, where'd you get five? I don't know. No. Those, the... Those are our points, right? So which point would we put in? 15, yeah. 15. 401. 401k. 15 equals what? M, which is what? 5, 9. 5 over 9, right, Adam? Yes. And what is F? 59. Uh, 59, right. Plus B. We don't know B. How come? Because we don't know. But we have to find it, yeah. So we have to go and solve that. Do we have to? And it's just, just a bunch of math, it? okay? Um, you'll end up with, I'm going to do it up here. See, this, this way I thought was a little easier, but we'll do it this way. Um, I multiply everything by 9, right? That's my style. Bowling ball method. I'm not even sure everybody gets that yet, but anyway. We'll call it that way. 9 times 15 is, is 150 minus 15, which is equal to 135 equals the 9's cancel. 5 times 59 plus b, uh, plus 9b, right? Um, and this is equal to 135 equals, what's 5 times 59, somebody? 5 times 60 is 300, so it's going to be equal to 295 plus 9b. And we get 9b equals um, 290, or 135, okay, um, minus 295, right? Negative 150. Right? When we divide by 9, we get b equals uh, 9 into 150, which is negative 150 over 9, which is equal to what? Um, 16 over 4, um, 16 and 4 tenths with the repeating decimal. Okay, 16.4, like that. Yeah. Okay? And then we go y equals mx plus b. Am I right? But in this case, it's, um, you know, uh, c equals mf plus b. We found b, and we go c, which is equal to 15 equals 5 over 9, no, sorry, um, now we don't know the, the amount, so it's uh, C equals 5 over 9, F, which we don't know, plus B, which we just found, 16.4. That's the way we do it. So this is the same thing as this, it's just a different form, okay? This right here was the Y minus Y1 equals M on to X minus X1 method, right? And this thing right here is another form of this, okay? <coughs> C minus 15 equals 5 over 9, F minus 59, okay? Or, this is the same as that. It is the same. I know it's hard to stretch, but if I were to multiply this out, you would get the same thing, okay? But I'm not going to write it right by it so that you don't get confused. Okay? So... Now we have this. What does the second question say? What does 43 say? Lupe, go ahead and read it out. Okay, so we can use this. Yeah. When it's 77, See, the good thing about this equation is, look, look at the way it's written. C equals 5 fifth F plus 16.4. Guess what? It's, it's like begging you to get the answer. C, the Celsius, equals whatever this is in Fahrenheit times 5 ninths plus 16.4. So let's, shall we use this one? 
What do we do when we say use it? What do we do? What do we plug, plug in? in? What a bit of information we do, yeah? Um, do you do 77 instead of F? That's right. You plug in 77 instead of F. So we've got C equals 5 ninths F plus 16.4. I do my pocket, right? Because I'm substituting this into there. Because it's asking you, okay? It's giving you some new information, okay? It's saying use the equation you find, whether it's this one or that one, to find the Celsius temperature when it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So what they're doing is once you figure out a general equation for this, when you find a general equation for this, then you use it for a specific case. This is the specific case right here. The specific case is that, oh, um, in general, you know, the specific case is it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit out. It's a nice, bomb, nice day in LA, a typical day in Los Angeles, 77 degrees. Well, what, you know, what does a European or Canadian know? I mean, they know Celsius, right? And so you say it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit, they get all confused. Well, what is that? Well, if they have this formula, they can figure it out. And that's how these things work. Now, these formulas are the basis for those really quick calculations that your computers do. Programmers program that in, okay, and did all that hard work. And now that it's all programmed in, you can just click on whatever you click on, punch in a number, and boom, it comes out the other end with some other value, all right? So let's look at this right now. So let's finish this off. C equals 5 9 times 77 plus 16.4. What's that equal to? Does anybody figure that out? 5 times? Uh, yeah, you could do that. Uh, yeah, let's do the bowling ball method. Okay. 385. Uh, is it 385? 500. Let's do the bowling ball method because let's stick with what we do. Let's do our bowling ball method. That's what we do, right? We we cancel these nines. We go 9c equals 5 times 77. What's 5 times 77? 385. 385. 9c is 385 plus 16.4 times 9. What's that? What's 9 times 16.4? Anybody? 147.6. Thank you. That's what I got here. 147.6, that's what it is. So what do you, now just go ahead and add 385 plus 147.6, Lupe. 9C equals, do you have it? What is it? 532.6. Okay, now, okay, well, ignore the swearing, you know, the bad stuff. 9C equals, let's be nice, 385 plus 147.6, which is 532.6. So 9C equals 532.6. Divide by 9. Divide by 9, and can somebody with a calculator do that? Yes, 59.82. All right. So C equals, oh. what, 50? 59.18. All right. So then we go back and we say, okay, it was 77 degrees from Fahrenheit in L.A. And some guy from the Yukon, you know where the Yukon is? Yeah. Canada? Yeah. Okay. Somebody from up in, you know, way up there in the north, the, the great wild north, they use Celsius. Came down here, came down here. What's that? Yukon potatoes are really good. Yukon potatoes, okay. I'll take your word. All right, so 77 degrees uh, Fahrenheit is 59 degrees Celsius, okay? 77 degrees Fahrenheit is 59. That kind of makes sense because we know Celsius is less than Fahrenheit. So you get an idea of where that problem is going, okay?